This is so upsetting. It's not showing you appropriately. Can you see it clearer? That was upsetting. I was trying to focus, and you can't when you're scoping up close on my sassy pants cup that I got from Hobby Lobby because you'll ask. Dutch, how's it going? Glennon, how are you? You guys, I don't have my glasses on, so sometimes I can't see. <laughs> Let me put my glasses on. I can't see, so put... Do you love the mug? I got it at Hobby Lobby. They had a lot of other cute ones, but they were like $16. I'm like, come on. I get all my cute mugs for like $8. I like to shop, but I'm not paying $16 for a mug. <laughs> How are you, sassy? Back at you, you guys. Um, so now that I have my glasses on, if I, sometimes it's hard, and this is a tip. I can't claim it. Um, but when you're in my scope or other people's scopes, um, Hobby Lobby's the bomb. Dutch. You're so multifaceted as a man. I really, yeah, because you draw, right? You guys, Ranger Dutch is like a killer. He's amazingly talented at art. Robin, I see you. My mom works at Hobby Lobby. You, oh, I'm so jealous. Actually, my mom worked at Hobby Lobby too because she's really good at flower arranging and making those big, you know, when she comes over to my house, you guys saw... Thank you. I do, I am enjoying the glasses. Um, I showed you guys my... Um, fall decor, my mom will come over because I'm good at putting like a bunch of the fake flowers together to make an arrangement for fall. I have them for spring. I have Christmas. I have all that. But my mom will come over and go, hmm, it should be higher in the middle. And she'll just like adjust my stuff because she's worked at Hobby Lobby and knows what it's supposed to look like, right? So anyway, thanks for the hearts. I love that those match my top. Can't lie. That's the way I roll, people. Even when I put my baseball hat on, before I was scoping and I knew that this was the top I was wearing, I'm like, the hat has to be black in some way. Like I had this really cool hat on that said, believe on it. I'm like, it just doesn't go. How are you, Rachel? Um, good morning, everybody. I'm sorry I'm a little late. This has been a week of me doing some slacking and not sleeping. I mean, like I slept until 10 after six today, but still that just sets everything off. So. Um, I'm going to be back in my game next week. It has been a killer week. I'm so glad it's Friday. How many people are so glad it's Friday? I'm so glad it's pretty much every day, but I'm ready for the weekend. Who's ready for the weekend? I'm ready for a massage today, I'll tell you that much. And I deserve it. I earned it. I am so, and who also, okay, <laughs> I right? Happy weekend, everybody. Back at you. Um, how many people... <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to say this. How many people watched some of the shows that were on last night on, like, ABC? Grey's Anatomy? Anyone? Anyone? I stopped watching that show for a couple of years, and then I got back into it, and I really cannot believe how much I still love that show. And then I stopped watching Scandal um, because it just... The last time I watched Scandal, um, no TV for me. Um, hey, it's probably better. I For me, TV is, like, my total... Tune out, relax, turn the brain off, leave my phones in the other room, kind of. Uh, it's on my DVR. I'm not spoiling. I hate spoilers, although working. I just lost all your comments, whoever. So just put your comments back up if you don't mind. Um, that's one of the upsetting things about social media, guys. Like if I go on, on Facebook, I only go on Facebook once in the morning and typically once um, in the evening. And I remember last season when McDreamy died and I went on and I saw all these things and they're like, McDreamy died? And I hadn't watched it yet. I was so pissed. I'm almost at the face. I'm so sorry, right? I think that was you, Rob, and I lost it again. Um, if you put it back up now, look, I'm looking. I'm looking. Um, but yeah, I don't do spoilers. So um, I just think it's a really good show. And then I watch um, that murder show, How to Get Away with Murder. Um, but anyway, uh, Geek Fit Life, how are you, Stuart? Um, so anyway, thanks for the um, thanks for the hearts. Thanks for joining you guys. Happy Friday. My name is Kelly Alexa. I'm CEO and founder of Fitfluential. F I T F L U E N T I A L. See how that just rolls off my tongue now? I'm so used to introducing myself. Um, I hope if you're new and you haven't hit it over there. Good morning from the gym. Hey, Zeus is in the house, working out. Um, I hope that you will head over to fitfluential.com and certainly download our app. Um, I can suffice it to say, thank you for putting that up there. Good morning, ladies. Um, I hope that you will uh, download. We've got some stuff coming in 2016 that just, 
we have never done before, and I'm so excited. Honestly, I just cannot tell you. Y'all need to be hooked up because, and, and here's the other top three questions that I get. Yes, anybody that is not a Fitfluential ambassador or a member yet, you can use our hashtag. We encourage it. We love it. That's what helps us grow uh, the community. Number two, uh, we are, look at me. I'm like, number two, <laughs> number two. We are always accepting applications for uh, ambassadors. To be an ambassador, you do not have to be a blogger. You just simply have to have kind of a minimal social media presence. And frankly, the way that I look at it, you have to have a positive attitude. Um, I can't stand and I won't let anybody approve any, you know, elitists in the fitness space, people that think it's their way only, you know, like I won't approve vegans that hate people that eat meat. I won't approve CrossFitters that think everybody else is it, is doing it wrong. I mean, just we've all got to have mutual respect and appreciation for all fitness, health and wellness practices. So that's my personal, um, you know, that's what you got to be. You've got to be positive. You've got to want to change other people's lives. That's what we're looking for. Numbers are secondary because numbers will always grow once you join our community. So those are the answers, I think, to the top two questions that I constantly get. Um, I also blog personally at uh, Approved Males. Absolutely. We certainly need a lot of guys. So men, um, if you're running, if you're crossfitting, if you're uh competing, whatever, bring it. We certainly need men a lot. Good morning here from Nashville. Do you partner with other fit providers? You'll have to clarify what you mean by fit providers and let me know. Um, yes, for both men and women. We abs and, and also, you know, high schoolers, college kids, um, you certainly don't need to be, we, we are heavily millennial, but we love people that are as old as I am. I'm 46, uh, love people that are uh, all ages. Fitness and health and wellness has no limits, right? You know, we're always that. <laughs> I thought you said, man, I just love the way that comes across, Jesus. Jesus is one of our ambassadors. He's got the most amazing story. Um, Dutch is in the house. He's um, one of our elite content providers or content creators on fitfluential.com. He's a triathlete and just an overall badass. Um, we've just got a community of outstanding, amazing people. And that's what I love is, you know, we bring you the ability to find these outstanding individuals that can help you, train you, inspire you, motivate you, yada, yada, yada. Um, as I mentioned, um, if you have any questions, I blog at kellyalexa.com. You can email me if you guys have questions on anything I scope about. If you have things you want me to cover in one of my next scopes, kelly at kellyalexa.com is my email. Um, and I would welcome that. I love to hear from you guys. And some of you know that you've re emailed me. We have a book with complete fitness information, workouts, and mindset. Um, then, you know, email me. I, I You know, I, I have to take a look at it. But absolutely, um, you know, without seeing the detail, we, I'd love to hear from you. And then we can discuss possibilities. You can email me. Anything business related for Fitfluential, please email me kelly at fitfluential.com. Um, and then me and my assistant will get back to you. You are the bomb, hey, Suze. <laughs> so um, I shared my emails, yada, yada, yada. You guys, I, the, the topic of, and I hope I put it up there. I think I put words for the win up in my topic today. But I was watching, <laughs> yes, I was watching an HGTV episode earlier this week. And then I saw um, a couple of things on a Twitter chat we did. I think we did a Twitter chat last night. You guys, my days blend together. So please, I have extensively detailed long-term memory, but my short-term memory, sometimes I'm, you know, when you guys tweet me during the day and go, your scope was awesome this morning. I'm like, uh, what did I say? Like my short-term memory is awful. Once I get a couple days later, I remember it. But I think we did a Twitter chat last night with Polar. And um, which, by the way, can someone remind me as I'm wrapping up, I have two killer coupon codes at the end for you guys to hook you up. Two 20% awesome discount codes I want to share with you. I'll send you an email. Awesome. Thank you. Um, so, um, we were doing this polar heart rate monitor training, and I saw a couple um, folks that, that shared kind of, I don't want to say discouraging, but um, uh, I see this tendency in people where they're speaking in, in phrases that prevent them from ever moving forward. And then I watched this HGTV episode. Y'all know I'm obsessed with HGTV and the Food Channel. Food Network and Cooking Channel, excuse me. Um, how many How many other people? Food Network, 
fans in the house was watching some Bobby Flay thing. I could watch Bobby Flay all day. Um, aside from the fact that he seems to be in his personal life kind of a jag bag. But that happens a lot with the male side of things. But anyway, um, how many people love HGTV like me? Could watch it all day long, especially Fixer Upper. Fixer Upper, the Property Brothers. And is that your vision board behind me? Yes, it is. Isn't it big? See? Look how big it is. It's taller than me. I didn't know, Henry, when I was ordering it, that it'd be that big. But I'm totally down with it. And it has, like, the coolest stuff on it. And then it has the new coach purse I'm going to buy. <laughs> anyway, that's part of my, um, every time that I want to stop working on something, I'm like, wait a second, I have to earn my coach purse. Okay. And the Discovery Channel. Yes, National Geographic. I'm getting off topic. Okay, here's the deal. So I see people using these phrases and words all the time that to me, whether it's your fitness goals or whether it's business goals, relationship goals, financial goals, if you talk that, <laughs> that's what she said. I was totally thinking the same thing. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. I need a cocktail. <laughs> um, okay. Focus, Kelly. People use these words. And they don't realize it. But you guys, if you're on the skeptical side of listening to people say things like change your attitude, change your life, um, change your thinking, change your life. If you hear phrases like that and go, right, that's great. A bunch of self-help crap. Um, I got to tell you, first of all, I used to be one of those people who was like, oh, yeah, sure. I can just say something. And it's going to be, you know, it's going to come into play. Or, or I hear people talking about certain catchphrases that we throw around. And I was very skeptical and I kind of would roll my eyes about stuff. But I can tell you from experience that the way you talk in your head to yourself and the way that you constantly talk or we've talked about this with emails in in just your day-to-day -day communication it's it's setting you up to think a certain way about yourself and i want you to think about this visual of you know that song who's that doggy in the window for some reason as i was putting on my mascara this morning i had this i thought about what i was going to talk about with my scope and i thought about this kid and who's that doggy in the window? And you're going, what in the hell is Kelly on this morning? I'm tying this together. When I think of a kid looking in a store window, wanting a doggy, you know, that kid is passive. That kid is looking at the dog going, I wish I could have a dog. I'd love to have a dog. Um, I hope I could have a dog someday, right? And those are the three words I wrote down. I wish, I want, I hope that I hear people saying all the time. How many of you guys say that? I wish I could get a raise. I hope I could have, I hope I can lose weight someday. I really want a bigger house. I love to have that car. Um, I, I wish I could be more assertive. I wish I could meet somebody. I hope someday I will meet the man of my dreams. I would really love to pay off my debt. I hope that... Um, I can get past this job and get a new job. How many people have said that? And it's not like those are bad things to say, but it's the way that you talk. And when you, in my opinion, um, and in my experience, when you talk with those words all the time, you're putting yourself in that position of the doggy in the window, or no, not the doggy, you're the kid. You're the kid looking in the window going, I want that stuff. I want change. I want a bigger house. I want to pay off my debt. I want to have, um, I want to be back at my college weight. I want to, you know, improve muscle tone. I, I want to compete someday. I want to do this. I want to do that. Then you're, you're putting it like up on a shelf, like some of my books. And you're like, well, yeah, I'll just, I'll just look at it up there and I'll read it someday. And, and without realizing it, you're putting yourself as if it's out of your control. Now, Bear with me. I really feel strongly about this. If you start changing the way you talk about things, then you automatically start holding yourself accountable, which is what you need to do, which is a simple mind shift. But guys, I'm telling you, it, say losing weight, okay? Let's talk about losing weight. Instead of going, I really want to lose weight, okay? How about saying, I'm going to lose 10 pounds in the next six months? There's a big difference. If you say, and too many people say that, yeah, I really love to lose 10 pounds. I really should. How many? Usually it's men that, that'll say this that I run into. Oh, yeah, I know. I've got to lose like 20 pounds, you know? And, and they say it like that, like, oh, it's no big deal. Or women, they're like, oh, no, I know I need to lose 10 pounds. 
when you talk about yourself that way, you're talking about as if it's over there. It's like, yeah, I know I need to mow the lawn someday. Yeah, I need to do that. I need to get to that. I wish, I hope, I'd love to be able to do that. How many of you see that attitude in others or you have that attitude where you get into a discussion and you're like, oh, yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to be able to find time to work out. I'd love to. If you'd love to do it, then stop saying you'd love to do it and start to do it and change the way you talk and stop acting so passive like it's something that you just put on your Christmas list and wish for Santa to bring you. That's not the way the world works. If you want to lose weight, if you want to get ripped, if you want your delts to be bigger, then you work at it and you figure out what you need to do to make it happen. You don't just sit there and go, I'd really love to have that. That's so awesome. I really, I really wish I could get smarter. I really wish I could be a doctor someday. You want to be a doctor someday? You need to go to medical school. Stop acting up. My computer always gets on my nerves. People, the, the power of your words is not a bunch of personal development, self-help hoo-ha. It actually will change the way that you take action in your life. I am telling you, test it out. Test it out for a week. There were a couple of words I mentioned in one of my last scopes, like people that say, I really should. And this goes totally in alignment with what I'm talking about today. And I'm catching myself still letting these passive words and phrases come into my life. You know what else I noticed? That everybody says and that I'm going to work on myself. How many of you use the, the phrase kind of? Yeah, it's just like I, he's just kind of this. Or I listened to um, actually a broadcast. Um, it was an interview the other day. And this woman's like, don't you feel like that's just kind of, and, and, and I want to do this and it's kind of this and it's kind of that. The sad thing is so many people told no or that they can't so often. They think they can't. Absolutely. Do anything. I'm certain um, people hear a lot of incorrect messages growing up and then that forms as Tony Robbins puts it, self-limiting beliefs, right? I had those self-limiting beliefs about myself. I said that I was horrible at finances my whole life. And guess what? The more that I spoke that way to myself, I was giving myself permission to never dive in and face it. Because I go, yeah, I'm, I'm horrible at that. I'm not good at money. I'm, you know, and I would joke it off. And it bothered me all the time. Guess what, people? Guess who knows exactly how much debt I have? Guess who knows exactly when it'll be paid to zero? Guess who is on top of things? Guess who is nerdily into their budget? And every payday, I'm like, what do I get to fix? What do I get to attack? How much more is in my savings account? This girl, this girl that thought her whole life, I suck at money, I'm not good at that, I am good at that. I just had to stop talking about myself that way. That's part one. And then number two, take action. That's the, the two simple things, sorry, about all of this. Stop using passive words. Stop thinking that you can't. Stop acting like it's that doggy in the window that you just have to, you know, go look and, and go, oh, I wish I'd have that. I wish I could lose weight. I wish I'd love to compete someday, but I could never do that. Like, you're not watching life pass you by. You're not watching a television show that you just have recorded, and that's the only thing you can do is watch it. You can make your future whatever you want. You can make your finances whatever you want. You can make your body whatever you want. And stop using excuses to say you can't. Because for every excuse anyone wants to throw out about money, body, relationships, job, whatever, I will throw it right back to you like a bad tennis player. Now, I guess that would be a good tennis player. So please understand that like the power of your words can completely change anything. Everything, excuse me. How many of you people have found yourself constantly saying, just, I, I just want to do this, um, or should, or I want, I wish, I hope. How many of you guys say that all the time? I wish I could lose weight. I really want, I would love to become a runner. How many of you guys have said, or, or about your finances, I'd love to get a raise, but blah, blah, blah. If you'd love to do something, if you want to do something, if you hope something could happen in your life, if you wish for it, then you need to stop saying, I wish, I hope, I want, and start saying, I will, I am. And just when you start talking about yourself that way, if you start using that, I mean, we use that in sales all the time. Um, I've been in, in corporate sales before I founded Fitfluential for 15 years, 16 years. And now that my sales team and myself, you know, we constantly, if, if one of uh, the guys that works for me, his name is Jason, if he says, you know, well, I'd really like to do this. I'm like, no, you're going to do that. You're going to close it. You're going to win it. You guys, your activity and your focus will follow 
what your words are saying. It's not hoo-ha. It's not a bunch of crap. It absolutely matters. And if you take a peek, if you doubt me, look at some of the most successful people that you look up to. They are people that talk assertively and with clarity and with um, absolute vision and confidence about what they're doing. And that doesn't mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that if you change and you start using these terms, I am, I will, I'm doing this. Um, I, I, instead of saying, I want to lose weight, say, I'm on my way. I am lo- I'm on my way to losing the weight that I want to lose in the next six months. I'm doing this, 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 and this. You should always check yourself with that. When you say, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, what Again, remember what I said in my one scope? I said, act as if someone's going to show up at your house and grill you on this. What are you doing? What are you doing every day to to attack your budget? What are you setting up? How are you setting yourself up for, for success? What are the actions that you're taking? If you couldn't be quizzed on that as if it, your life counted with it, you know, on, on your answer, then you're not going to get there. So number one, you got to change your words. And then number two, you got to change your actions. So changing your words is great, but if you're actually not taking the steps to move towards your goals, you're going to just be somebody who's speaking positively, but you'll end up back in that place of who's that doggy in the window and thinking it's unattainable. Action creates success. But the biggest change that I can tell you guys to make, stop talking in such a passive tone. Start taking life on and being assertive and realizing that the direction that you start declaring out loud in your emails or even privately in the way that you talk to yourself. We all talk to ourselves, guys. If you start talking like you can do things and you will do things and you're going to do things instead of, oh, that would be nice, you know, as if someone's going to deliver it to you in your mailbox. How are you, Jamie? Um, Everything's going to change. I promise you. So, Honestly, that's like my main message for today. And obviously, I feel very strongly about it. But I'm telling you guys, I used to be somebody that said a lot more passive things without realizing it. I know I said things like, I'm just following up with you. I just wanted to reconnect with you. I've changed my emails. I've changed the way I talk about my goals. I've changed, you know, being scared of things. I've changed so much about myself. And this is one of the things that changed my results in my health, in my finances, in my relationships, in my business. You guys have the confidence Have the confidence inside yourself that you can do it. Stop wishing for it and start working for it. Like, that's my Friday. Go get them. You can do it and test it out. If you think I'm, if you think, oh, that's not going to matter, test it out. Test this out first for a week. Stop saying the I wish, I want, I hope. Test it out and see how much you start, you know, instead of like, Virtually speaking, instead of, you know, standing like this, you'll be standing like this. You'll be like, I've got this. I'm going to do it. You have, you cannot stop me. Trust me. It's going to change everything for you. So it's Friday. I'm ready to go kick butt. I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you have your sassy pants on like me and my favorite mug from Hobby Lobby. If you have any questions, um, email me Kelly at kellyalexa.com. Oh, I'm glad that you like the Cliff Builders bars. Oh my God, you guys, the two discount codes. So If you go to fitfluential.com right now, we have a special going for our members. Actually, it's really for our whole community. Please pass this on. Polar heart rate monitors, 20% off. I have been using polar heart rate monitors. This is really a big deal, you guys. They never used to discount. Ever, 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 ever. Please pass this on. Just go to fitfluential.com and look in the search bar, polar. It's easier. I believe the coupon code that you would use on polar.com is fit for life. But please check uh, fitfluential.com to make sure. And just in the search bar, look for Polar. But there's a big post up on, I think it's on weight loss um, for mommies. Um, but but double check. There should be several posts. And there's a coupon code, 20% off all Polar. Holiday season's coming up. If you're not working out with a heart rate monitor, we had this Twitter chat last night, you are missing out on what is actually your your caloric burn and where your heart rate is. Do not trust the machines at the gym. Do not trust when you see a spin class advertisement and they're like, people burn a thousand calories in this class. You don't know until you have a heart rate monitor. I started using one when my trainer Jay got me on one in 2008. And I was mortified by how much I had been trusting the machines. You know, when you you put, like, say you're on an elliptical and you put your hand on the machine 
and it'll tell you that you're burning X amount of calories based on your age and your weight, right? And usually we all lie about our weight on those machines because we think people are looking at us. So I put my weight and age on that machine and I tested it out with a heart rate monitor from Polar versus what it said. The machine told me I burned 850 calories in 45 minutes. My Polar said I burned 350. I tested that out quite a lot. Now, those of you that don't have a heart rate monitor go, well, that's depressing. No, it's not depressing. What it is, is it's going to be a lifesaver for you because if you, especially when you're starting out with fitness, especially if you wanna lose weight, Yes, these help you when you're training and you're running. And ask Dutch if he's still on here. Ask anybody who's a runner or a triathlete. It helps you with your heart rate training. But specifically, if you want to lose weight, you need to know what you're doing with your time. And if you think in your head, oh, well, I'm taking that insanity class and they said it burns 1,000 calories an hour. And so you do it and you assume you've burned 1,000 calories and you've done it five days that week. So you assume that you've burned 5,000 calories that week and you assume because it says, you know, it takes um, burning 3,500 calories to lose a pound. So then maybe you you cut your diet down by another 1,500, right? Am I saying that correctly? No. Yeah. And then that would be, forgive me, 2,000. Then you'd be at 7,000 calories that you'd burn and you, you'd assume, well, I should be losing two pounds a week because I burned 5,000 calories this week and then I cut my diet by this. What's going to happen is you might have only burned 400 calories. So you really burned a lot less and then you're eating more because you're eating based on burning this much. That's why you get a heart rate monitor. You really know what your activity is. It's measuring your heart rate and how you burn through the calories. So trust me, it's a total game changer. And Polar has so many new... Um, heart rate monitors coming out and they have price ranges from like $80 up to like the really fancy ones with all the bells and whistles. They have um, loop monitors that you can wear all day that'll track your steps, that'll track your eating somehow. I don't know how they do it, but go to Polar, watch some of the videos. They have awesome new videos that show you what all the different ones do so you can see what's best for your lifestyle. 20% off is a huge hookup. Secondly, we have, I just did this yesterday. Um, I did a 30 minute free um, nutritionist, um, excuse me, a dietitian consult with American Well. American Well, and I think I might've just told you the coupon code for American Well. For Polar. Please go to fitfluential.com, you guys, and look up the coupon codes for both of these companies. American Well is telemedicine. So it allows you, kind of like this, but assume like kind of a Skype experience. You can dial in and see a doctor, a psychologist, a nutritionist, a dietitian, um, a nurse. So think about the convenience of being able to see a doctor when you know you don't have like an arm that needs to be stitched back on, right? Say you've got sick kids and you just need you know a diagnosis and a prescription um, or a psychologist visit. How convenient is that if it's snowing, if it's bad weather, or the ability to see somebody that's not in your backyard. And um, you can also see a dietitian or nutritionist. So we have you guys hooked up with the American Well Company, who is a client. Both of these are clients of Fitfluential. If you look them up, you get a free 30-minute consult with a dietitian or a nutritionist. And it's from the comfort of your own home. I did a 30-minute consultation with a, I cannot talk, dietitian yesterday. She was so nice. I actually followed her on Twitter. Um, and she was so helpful because I had all these questions about my diet and hypothyroid. And actually, it was nice because I was asking her all of these questions about, well, I, I, I assume I can't have this, 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 and this. And she was like, I disagree. And I think that you should. And then she helped me figure out, you know, okay, now that I know the, um, the food area I can play in, you know, I need to get back to how many calories I should be eating a day based on the fact that I'm working out six days a week and I'm doing, you know, more weight training than I used to do. You know, I need to kind of get back into having that range. Now that my bioidentical treatment has me moving in the right direction, I've kind of been winging it with my food and as far as how much I should be eating. So she helped me figure that out. It was free. It was 30 minutes. It was online. I did it right here at my desk. It was awesome. We have you guys hooked up so you can log on to Fitfluential, find the American Well, just you know, look in the search bar, American Well, and it'll give you the coupon code. I believe I screwed up. I believe the coupon code for American Well is Fit for Life. And I think the Polar one is Team Polar. 
I could be wrong. Just look it up on Fit Flential. But the um, American Well is a free consult. That is a huge, um, wonderful advantage. I think that everybody should dive in, get a consult with a dietitian. What do you have to lose? Ask some of those questions, what you should be eating, what your kids should be eating. And it's wonderful because then they send you a follow-up um, email with more details and more recommendations. It's a huge value. I think it's outstanding. And I think you guys should all dive in and do it. Thank you, Kel. And this is not going to be around forever but I will tell you this I did look at their prices even if you don't have insurance um, their prices for these consults and for seeing a doctor are tremendously reasonable I think it's wonderful for um, all of us to be able to take a more preventative and proactive approach to our health so obviously I'm biased these are clients of my company Fitfluential I think it's an outstanding opportunity for you guys and I hope you'll take advantage of it and with the Polar come on it's holiday season coming up y'all want to stock up on that so I hope you guys have a great Friday I'm excited we're going to make it a kick butt day I will see you guys tomorrow and give me a fist pump you guys have a great day because you know it's going to take me like five minutes to shut off my broadcast